Okay, this little demonstration is to show you the importance of using different models in biology. This is the food chain that we've already talked about. Our aquatic food chain, our lake ecosystem food chain, the producers are algae, then followed by minnows, trout, and osprey. And these little purple particles represent DDT. Now here is our um, ecological pyramid. All right. So as we know, DDT was sprayed into, uh, in minute concentrations into the ecosystem. And even though they were used to eliminate insects, they were absorbed by the algae. And because this toxin is lipid soluble, it was passed up the food chain. However, let's look at an ecological pyramid, which not only shows you the order of the trophic levels, but each layer represents biomass. So I just put 10 little particles of DDT into the environment. Let's say the algae absorb all 10 particles that I, I drew. All right, now as the minnows eat the algae, all the particles of DDT will move from the algae bodies into the minnows bodies. All right, so even though energy is lost um, every step of the way as we go up the um, food chain, Again, with the fat-soluble toxins, every molecule of DDT that are in the algae's body, if that algae is eaten by the fi a fish, make it up into the fish body, the, and in this case, little fish. Then as the big fish eat the little fish, the same thing happens. All of these particles move up to the next trophic level. And again, finally, when we get to our top carnivore, our bird of prey, all 10 particles of DDT so you see here, this illustrates, if you understand this ecological pyramid, you see that it illustrates this important concept of biomagnification. Not only were the particles transmitted up the food chain that you might ascertain with this model, that each level, this toxin became more and more concentrated. In the fact, with, um, with DDT, if you look at your textbook, that DDT became 10 million times more concentrated as it moved up the food chain. Something that I just think is incredible. So again, it's not like these evil businessmen were trying to kill off our birds of prey. They weren't trying to kill off um, the American's national symbol, uh, um, symbol. Again, the DDT was originally sprayed in very dilute amounts. But this is just something we did not understand that we could not predict. That as the toxin moves up the food chain, it became more and more and more concentrated. However, what gives us our evolutionary advantage? Our big brains, our intelligence. So even though we were not able to predict this relationship in nature originally, I mean, maybe we should have, but we didn't, we should definitely be able to predict the pattern now. Now, I'll ask you this. What do you think? Should DDT be banned? Well, again, this is what I hate. I hate a lot of times people present ecological issues as black and white, all or nothing. Um, if you go to Africa, if you're an American, you go to visit Africa or in Central America, you will probably sleep under a net that is laced with DDT. So that if any, um, if any insect, if any mosquito tries to bite you while you're sleeping, this net will protect you. So do you see how this is a very focused application of DDT? It would protect your health. It, these mosquitoes that come to zap you, they'll be, you know, or to eat you, they will be zapped. But you see, that's different than this just, this general spraying of DDT in the area. Because remember, that did two things. When we spray whole areas with the DDT, number one, we select for the resistant mosquitoes. So then ultimately, D DDT is rendered ineffective as a weapon. And number two, as we spray DDT into a general area, it enters food chains, it enters the ecosystems, and becomes more and more concentrated as it moves up the food chain. And again, humans are top carnivores too, and I will try to post pictures that show the effect of um, pesticide exposure on young children in Central America. But again, we have our brains. We don't have to say, oh, DDP, bad, never ever use it. I think this is a very intelligent use of DDT um, to make mosquito nets out of DDT. Very targeted, very specific, does not get into the food chain, does not select for resistant mosquitoes. So there's your little demonstration on biomagnification.